Hi, this is Lionel. Welcome to my tutorial on how to make a slideshow with music in Picasso 3. I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm only going to use about seven photos. Now here you see that I've got the sample photos from actually Microsoft itself. So first of all we're going to select all of these photos. So I left click on the first one hold down the shift key, left click on the last one if I wanted to take any out if I hold down the control and click on that particular one that's taken it out, if I click again, left click it's back in. Anyway, we leave that bit for now having selected all our photos we will go to just above the first one there's like a little film clip there and it says create video clip presentation and that's the one we want to left click on. Now we can see our photos down the bottom here and we can also see that it's put this first one in with a name and I don't want that particular name so if we go to slide up at the top here and I'm going to just highlight that or get rid of it whatever you want to do delete it and type in uh, Picasso tutorial now up here you can see I can change the size of the text to whatever I want and I had it set on 60 which I think I'm going to leave it on you can change the style of it there's lots of different styles or oh, that's just making it bold I don't particularly want that one but here we're on Sergo script but there's all of these other things you could have and now I've lost the one that I wanted now if I just there we are again yep Sergo script I'll leave it on that you could change the text color I'll click in here select any of these colors or just leave it as it was or the background color again you can change it to anything you want or back to what it was I'm going to leave it on that. So now we've got our beginning caption. I want to put another one at the end. So I'll click on the last one here. Come over to this little square box down here. And it says add new text slide. So if I click on that, it's added another little black box at the end. And I'm just going to click there and say the end. Give it a capital letter, see. Right, so there's my last slide. Um, I can move these slides around if I want to. You press my left clicking on, drag it around. I want to put that one, say, next to the last one there. And you can do that with any of them. If you wanted to add more slides, you go to where it says clips and then get more. Any more you select will be loaded into this box here, ready for you then to make up your mind if you want to put them down the bottom. If you do, you find one that you want and you click on the plus sign and it will appear down the bottom. Then you can put it into wherever you want it from a position point of view. But we're going to leave it as it is and we're going to go to where it says video. Now here you've got some more options. The transition from one to the other is quite important and here you've got quite a selection of different things you could do dissolves, wipe, circle, push but I'm going to leave it on pan and zoom as I like that one here you can change the slide duration so if you add it on one second they're going to go through pretty quickly if you have it up here in 10 seconds it's a bit long but if I put it down the bottom here there's one second and you see what happens in a minute down here you can set whatever quality you would like and again on this screen 640 by uh, 480 is quite good and also it won't take so long when you create the video the better the quality the longer it takes to create the video down here we have got show captions I want that on here it says full frame photo crop so if you had a portrait uh, photo and you had black sides on it you might want it to crop it so those black sides didn't show 
that works okay with a lot of these transitions but with pan and zoom it's not very good because you might miss some information out that you want to keep on so with pan and zoom I wouldn't recommend that you put a tick in that box but play around with it and see what you got um, or what, and what you fancy now coming up here this is where we're going to put our music on it says audio track hover over load add audio track to this video clip now we haven't got very many slides so we don't want a very long piece of music and I've got something which is fairly short here now this Gershwin song now if you remember I had these slides set on one second each now you watch when I do this it's now changed to 6.6 .6 seconds it's actually fitted the duration of the music with the slides and you can see here it says fit photos into audio you've got a couple of more options loop photos to match audio truncate audio you see if it's a long piece of music it just cut short at the end but no nope, this is what we want to do so I'm going to leave it at that I could tell you a little bit more about that but I won't at the moment so let's have a look at what we've got I can click here and it will start playing in here but rather than do that I'm going to go over to the right hand side where you can play it full screen so it's a bit more impressive and see what you think of this Now I'm pausing it there because I missed out one very important step. If I click down here this little slider or pull the slider back right to the beginning, I'm going to click on this first one here. I'm going to put some captions on. Now let's go to slide and it says caption. I'm going to put oops, if I could spell. go to that one and go to this one and put penguins right let me go back to the beginning I'll take that slide right back there and we'll have another go How's that for timing? It's brilliant, isn't it, really? Anyway, you have a go at that yourself and see how you can work out. That if you find a piece of music that's three minutes long and you want to give six seconds to a slide, you know, you can work it out the length of the music that you want. There's only one thing about it is that you, if you've got a very long slideshow, you can't get more than one piece of music. So you've got to think of a way of either adding a couple of bits of music together, which can be done, or just make two separate slideshows and play them one after the other. That works. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and um, now it's your turn. Bye for now.